Hello everybody, I am Henry and welcome to the channel. A year before I even started the channel, I had this laptop and it's actually the laptop I did all of my editing on up until around the last eight months. When I got it, it came with a traditional one terabyte mechanical hard drive and I mean, this thing's a behemoth. It's not very fast and it kind of sluggers along so... The only clear solution was to go online and see what I can do to improve the performance. SSDs were a very common solution that I saw online, so I decided to pick one up. And just for my own enjoyment, because, you know, I do me, I benchmarked, you know, pr opening programs, booting up Windows before and after, and I recorded all the results, and I did a whole testing thing because I'm obsessed with testing things. So I thought it'd be cool to share the results today and give you guys an idea of how much SSDs make an improvement. If you don't know what an SSD is, I'll leave a link to a video that might explain a little bit more what it is and how it works up here in the corner. Let's begin with booting up Windows. The hard drive took 38 seconds to fully boot up Windows, whereas the SSD took just 9 seconds. Shutting down Windows took 32 seconds in the hard drive and 15 seconds on the SSD. So just booting up and shutting down alone reveals a huge performance gain. Next, I opened up Chrome, iTunes, and Tor two times, and the second time is going to open faster on both devices since Windows will optimize opening the program from the first time it opened up. I thought the biggest things to point out was Chrome and iTunes the first time. It's about 25 seconds on Chrome on the hard drive and less than five seconds on the SSD, one-fifth of the time. There's an even bigger gap on iTunes. Opening iTunes the first time took 32 seconds on the hard drive and a mere five seconds on the solid state drive. That's a crazy improvement. Tor still showed improvements, but not quite as large as Chrome and iTunes. Next, I tested opening Adobe Photoshop and Sony Vegas Pro. As you can see, Adobe Photoshop did speed up a little bit, but the big thing here is gonna be opening Sony Vegas the very first time. It goes from around 70 seconds all the way down to 15 seconds. It is so much faster on the SSD to open up Sony Vegas, and that carries over to the whole editing process as well. So as you can see, opening programs, booting up Windows, shutting down Windows saw huge improvements with an SSD. But another part of having an SSD is transferring files, and reading and writing. So here's the last set of benchmarks. As you can see, transferring a simple ISO file from one location to the other saw huge benefits from over 140 seconds down to less than 20 on the SSD. Even bigger over on the zip file extraction, being over 260 seconds on the traditional hard drive, down to a little less than 60 seconds on the SSD. Both crazy huge improvements. However, compressing a zip file showed actually around the same time. So the reason the times for the compression are around the same is that it's very CPU intensive and it's not very reliant on hard drive speed. So you're not gonna see an improvement with compressing files, but everywhere else you're gonna see huge improvement in terms of file transfers. So those are all the benchmarks, guys. To kind of summarize all that, as a whole, an SSD will greatly improve the performance of your computer in nearly every task. It is by far the best, cheapest, and easiest upgrade to do on your computer. Another thing people say is that solid state drives are much more expensive than traditional hard drives, and it's true, they are more expensive, but the prices have gone down so much to the point where a 500 gigabyte SSD, you can pick one up for probably around 100 bucks if you really look for one. That's everything, guys. This video is kind of off topic, but if you liked it, make sure to give a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. That's really it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Tech Lore is out.